Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brandon Motzkus, and today's Fabric Chat. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> all right, well, we've been talking all morning, but uh, <laughs> it's fun to talk with you guys. We have a couple of things. So one thing I just have to mention is that I have not had internet. So I knew that there was a bunch of um, questions and discussions on my phone, but um, I am slightly um, less prepared than usual. But I think tonight at box opening, it won't be a weird thing that at box opening we chat about nothing. <laughs> And so um, expect a little more chatter tonight because I knew there was a couple of very specific questions. Um, one thing that I want to say is that people are still talking about goats and how goats pee on their heads. Um, that was a great big thing. I'll We're bet, betting zoo. I will bet tw um, 25 to 30 of you asked me that question. How does a goat pee on their head? And if you Ooh. missed it on Sunday, I wouldn't say I demonstrated it, but I explained it. But... Um, and people are still asking, so you must have missed it. It was at the very end of Sunday box opening. But um, what they do is a male goat will just sort of stand and kind of spread his legs, and then he right. kind of tucks his head down, and he pees on his head. And then people also asked, did you raise goats? We did have goats. We had pygmy goats. We had alpine goats. And what was Ivan the Terrible? He was like a the one that used to... You remember I'm Ivan the Terrible? Ivan now. <gasps> Oh, he was my mom's goat. And oh my gosh, you could not turn around. He absolutely would run right into you, just like a cartoon goat. <laughs> he would knock you over. And he was kind of medium sized. He was little. And he was horrible. If you turned around and looked at him and, you know, said no, he wouldn't. But oh, he really wanted to knock you over. But. Um, but anyway, so um, so that's how goats pee on their head. Male goats, 100% of male goats, 100% of the time, will pee on their head yep. to attract a female. So that's just my best tip is do not ever pet one. Yeah. Any petting pet the zoo. Babies. Any, pet the babies. Pet the girls. Leave those boys, nasty, dirty boys alone. <laughs> um, so that was a big thing. And the other thing that everybody is... Um, talking about is book club. People are just thrilled to death with the idea. I think it's just so funny how many people um, also read a lot. Yeah. Um, and so many comments about that. The big thing is that um, Mad Honey is like, um, if you are a Libby user, which why not? I mean, if you read a mm -hmm. lot like we do, yeah, um, I use Libby a lot. Uh, you don't, it's not the expense. It's all free um, using your local library. But somebody told me that, um, Columbus, Ohio, it was like a, what, I think I texted it to you, it was like a 28-week wait. In Columbus, that seems like a huge... It'd be a bigger library than what we have. Us. And um, at ours, it's a 14-week. And changed. then in L.A., I think I had mentioned that um, Allie came in and said that L.A. County was like, I don't know, I remember I, I said it to you guys on Sunday, like a 20-week wait. Um, it is available in paperback for $13.00. Um, at Walmart right now, but but also I think that um, it, this other whole big discussion, people, I mean, a lot of you guys will email me and we text on the phone and we do different things, but a lot of it is that whole, um, um, the people that s are able to sit and read a book oh, yeah. versus the people that really like to listen to a book. I love listening to a book because I drive, I'm cleaning, sewing, doing those things that I, mm -hmm. uh, it's mm -hmm. okay. But Marge hates it. Marge says she can't, she can't concentrate. She, yeah. she has to just, she's just so used to reading the book. So I think everybody's a little bit different, but I also, and I've said this before that the whole thing with audible or, you know, um, yeah, Libby, it's a every person. It's a it's a performance. Mm -hmm. You know, I really like um, listening to it. But um, but anyway, so uh, the other thing too, a little uh, cautionary thing is that I tend to read so many. I read probably two books a week. Is that about what you read? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Two, and it kind of depends. Two or three. Um, it's hard when book club isn't going to be until the middle of next month. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of want to wait a little bit. And that was what I did Lori a book said. report last night. She did. Because you um, have to clean your palate. A I little. got my questions. I answered my questions. I cut and pasted <laughs> some things. 
I'm ready <laughs> for when we're ready to do it. Because yeah, yeah otherwise I'm just stagnant. And yeah. then I feel like I will jumble my characters. So yeah, I did my little I think it <laughs> book is, report. I think it is important. And so what we're going to do is, um, so we know that there are a couple of different issues here with a book club where we're doing a book club from across the the continent yeah. um, and beyond is that um, uh, when are you able to get your book? Mm -hmm. How long so does it take you to read your book? So we probably won't do a hot top, a hot off the press book because it's not fair for everybody. I mean, if no. you have to wait three months to listen to a book um, or read a book I don't, or have to purchase it, not knowing if you really like it or not, we feel right. like, well, we... But we didn't know. It's first. Month. We didn't know. We got There's some a lot to iron of. We've out. learned a bunch of things already. <laughs> but the other thing that um, we didn't think about is that again, those of us that read a lot, you know, I will spend. And this book, I spent a couple of days. Did not want to start another book. It's like I need to process a whole bunch of stuff. Uh -huh. And so I also made a lot of notes. And what's nice about this book is that in the back, uh, don't look at the back before you read the book. She um, has. At all. She has book Which club questions. I think it's fantastic. Now, what's Super funny good. is I Did you answer have those questions? totally different questions. I had totally different questions also. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I have. I think I had 22 questions that I Q&A'd by mm -hmm. myself and that Mom and I haven't even talked about yet. But mm -hmm. I think different things. I think it's great that she gives you a starting point. And if you've ever been to a local book club, it's nice to have a starting point and then go around and say, what was your question? What was your main whatever? So I think it's different doing it, yeah, countrywide yeah. versus... Yeah. And so I think what we're going to do is, um, so if you don't know, if you missed us last, last week, um, we are book club. We are sending out a newsletter on the 15th. I think it's Thursday. We're sending, and you have to go. I think Brianna probably has the, um, mm -hmm. yeah, he head, link. To the, head to the website. There's a book club tab at the top of our website, and then you can, um, sign up for our book club newsletter. Um, cause it won't be a part of the other random fabric patch newsletter. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be a part of it, even if you're not going to participate in the book that we chose Hang out with us anyway, or, or you don't want to read it, read it until you see the, you know, book club review, everything. I've, I, don't, I don't care. Well, you want to know about that though. I mean, all, I don't know about you guys, but I've been to a couple of book clubs and, and, um, it's really difficult to go to book club if you haven't read the book because for a couple of things, one, you don't even know what they're talking about. And right. number two, there will be a lot of spoiler alerts. But it is true that this particular book, I'm I'm not going to ruin anything, but what I am going to say is that Brianna and I have totally very, different. very different views about this book. But mm -hmm. I am... 30 years older than Brianna, yeah. but very, very different views. It. We both liked it. Mm -hmm. We both liked it, but I have to say, and this, and I said this already, this is an honest truth. I would have, I would not have finished the book. I would have put, and not for the reason you think, if you've already read it, I would have put the book down and not finished it, except that it was a book club book. Because if mm -hmm. you think it's about bees, it's not. Well, it kind of is. is. There's really but good it's information not. about bees. Yeah. And we'll talk about it in book club, why I would have put it down. And, and again, it's not for the reason you think. And some people have already emailed me privately and said, I'm not reading that book. Um, because okay. maybe you are. And if you already know what it's about, don't ruin it for anybody else in the comments. But um, And if you don't want to read it, it's perfectly okay. Because what I would say to you is that, and one of my questions that I have for people, and it will be in the newsletter for a couple. Yeah, our with, newsletter, we're going to put questions. We're going to put some questions to think in about. And, and nothing that will about. be spoilers. Yeah. But one question that I would have, and I would have this anyway, is how do you choose a book? Do you, book a, do you choose a book by its cover? 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. And an author. And an author. Yeah. Because I, the cover. I just read Wish You Were Here by Jodi Picoult. It was the book that I read just prior to this one. And I would say five star, one of the best books that I've read so far this year. And I told, couldn't wait to tell Lori Gilmartin, my friend, Parker. Some of you guys know where is Parker. Read this book. Read this book. And of course, I got the text right when the twist. Oh, my God. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> and so, um, because Jodi has always this right in the middle of the book, she has some weird twist that you don't even, not even anticipating it's going to happen. She just brings it out of the blue. And then at the end, she twists it again. And so she has this whole thing that she does and fantastic book. So if you want an alternate read, I wish you were here.
-hmm. Very, 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 very good book. So for me, it's like, oh, it's Dirty Pult and it's about bees. I'm in. I'm in. And then when I read the book, the back of it, and the back of it is about an unforgettable love story and the difference between secret and private. I'm totally in. Yeah. Totally in. Well, anyway, that's enough I'm going to say, but that was why I chose it. And the other thing that I want to just mention for a minute is that that is also the reason that I joined book club years and years ago when we had a local bookstore right. was because... Branch out. Get out of yeah. your box. Patty would always pick some books like, oh, I ain't reading that. I don't like that. And it was kind of fun to kind of, you know, branch out and read something different because I have a certain genre yeah, of books I that I do. like. Um, and I'm not necessarily willing to um, stray from that for this book. Club. I'm not going to, I'm never ever going to suggest a horror. But if everybody else, if I'm outvoted and everybody goes, oh, really? We'll really read it for you. Fine, I'll read it. <laughs> but I won't like it. But, you know, every once in a while, because I'll tell you, I learned a lot about bees in this. Didn't I, you? I did. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff that so, I absolutely yeah. did not know. I'm not going to talk about it yet. Yeah, not going to talk about it yet. We I, agree. I, agree. I agree. I I learned a lot about a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I did. So anyway, um, so that's an alternate. Is wish you were here, but you know, join us. Join us for book club. I think it'll be fun. And mm -hmm. the way that we're going to do it is we're sending out a newsletter halfway through, and and in the newsletter we'll have some things to vote on. We still haven't voted on our name. We have some really good. Yeah, contenders. we haven't done our name yet. You will also get an option to choose the book. We're gonna have three book title options, yeah. and you can say oh. And then majority wins out of mm -hmm. those three books. And we'll try to keep all three a different genre. Yeah. And so that, too, will be um, our next book will be a community vote yeah. off of the newsletter. So you can decide. And what you sometimes like, you like. you'll find if you are if you are a voracious reader, there's a possibility that you will have read the book before. And, that's okay. and what I it, perfectly OK, I would say read it again, you know, or if it's just recent. Well, that's OK. We'll also have honorable mentions in there and things because it's fun just to kind of tell you the things that we're reading. And, you know, so that's the other fun thing is having honorable mention things. So I really am excited about book club. I really am excited about talking with you guys about it. Yes. I can't wait for we keep talking in code because Tracy is not yet done. We're going to have to go hide in the closet the so book. we can talk I know, about it. I know. Still we have to, yeah. Lori <laughs> called me I'm this morning. I know. I know. I know. I know. We uh, barreled through it. Yeah. So um, so I am excited yeah. to talk to you guys about it. And, um, and again, the newsletter will talk yeah. about um, days that we'll get together. And the way that we're going to do that is, um, and we're going to talk for a minute here about Zoom, but whether we do it Zoom or um, or YouTube live, but we're going to do it in my living room and it'll be um, uh, Tracy, me, Brianna, Marge, mm -hmm. and Denise. Is Denise going to read the book? We don't know. I if she reads the book, she's she invited. Was listening to something. Good. She wasn't reading it out. Oh, she, okay. she was listening um, to And um, we haven't picked up the day yet. So this afternoon yeah. I have to go through my registration. So if you guys filled out those questions, I have yeah. to do my chart and see what day wins. Yeah. So, um, and we've asked you guys, yeah, genres. Yeah. But we think whatever days. day you guys win, it's still going to be that 11 Pacific time. So it'll work worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only thing that yeah. you're voting for the day. We love to hang out with our UK Everybody. and our Germany and our yeah. Australian people, which reminds me, I have to, I have one other little, um, okay. segue. Oh, another thing I have people who are asking what I found out about audible. Amazon Audible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know a whole lot, but um, I know if you have other questions, put them in the comments and our other, you know, people will answer your questions. But the main thing about Audible is it is subscription only. So you can go into Amazon, subscribe for it. You can be a monthly charge of, I think, like $15 or you can buy it for the year. Um, the year, there's a little bit of a savings. Um, we went ahead and did it for the year. And those points that you accumulate, if you have purchased books on Amazon and find that, oh, this is worth 15 points. This is worth 76 points. Those points are redeemable for purchasing audiobooks. So we audiobooked Mad Honey so I could listen to it, not have to wait. Um, and it cost one point. It cost nothing, especially if um, you're buying books on Amazon already. You're already accumulating those, and that's the only way to redeem those points are towards audiobooks. Um, Audible the, cost us $158 for, for the, the year, time. but we could 
cancel it at any time we want. And for that year's subscription, we do get 12 free books. Yes, uh, and free books, even that if you're on a wait list, that it is um, at printing, it's publishing in July, and you want that one as soon as it's available, you get it. Yeah. Whether um, So it's super great. You get 12 to have in your library forever, um, and your audiobooks are in your library yeah. forever. Um, the other thing you can also do, there's also free audiobooks, just like there are free Kindle books. Um, and you can also just get those, and they're not going to cost you any points, and they're going to be in your library forever. There's a lot of people who um, had texted me, and they've been doing Audible for a year and have over 200 books in their library. Um, ones that were ones that she thought about reading when she had young kids. It's like, oh, I remember that book. I'm going to put that one in there and just in my, you know, to-be-read list kind of a thing. So it's really nice if you're a... Um, a a lot of read a read a lot and also that purchase the book so it's funny that I will read the book but I really like that and that's, that's what I do it. I listen to it and then I buy it yeah and yeah. so it's one of those things that um you can definitely get those points however you need to because we don't have a barn we have a actually we have Barnes Nobles and Moses Lake anymore I don't think so. And Wenatchee has been gone for a long time. So we don't have like a, a local huge bookstore. bookstore. Mm -hmm. um, our bookery, who's a local bookstore, is very more coffee food. food. They have like Oprah's book club books and Reese Witherspoon's book club and books. Some and that's kind of it. Authors, um, so we don't even books. have one that you can just go wander and look for one and maybe have the top selling item. But I'll tell you, when I'm in an airport, that's where I stop. I'm I go to, to it. I go to the bookstore. I'm going to go in the bookstore. And Me I too. always read the. Um, the recommended things. I love that. If you are if you are working in a bookstore and your job is to read books, could you imagine? And your job is right. to read books, and then you and so then it'll say, oh, Kathy, who works here, says this was her favorite of the month. I always look for those yes. because I I like that. I like to have somebody who does it for a living. You know, what would they recommend? Yeah. So that's what I know of Audible. I think it is nice, and you don't have to wait. You know, there waiting. are no wait lists. There is no waiting. You just mm -hmm. automatically get it, and you have it in your library forever but there's a fee but there is a free and one other thing that you should know about this maybe you were going to say this is you can't share it yes I was she share it. oh you were yeah mm -hmm. she can't take that book in her audible thing and you know send it over to tracy mm -hmm. to listen to so you yourself yeah. own it unless you're only gonna, yeah unless you're going to give somebody your amazon password and ipad Phone. It's only yours. Yeah, it's only yours. <laughs> Which is fine too. I think so, that's just fine. Yeah. But so that's what I know of Audible. Um, it is only subscription based. You can do a thirty day free trial, um, and get a book. But um, yeah, I think it's pretty nice. But I think I maybe mean, for fifteen dollars a month. Yeah. Um, that's one book. Yeah. So if you're only gonna read one book a month, eh, maybe not. If you're a two or three year, it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it to. N I think that what makes it worth it, the reason that we bought it, is not to not to have to wait. Mm -hmm. um, because, gosh, you know, if you are... That waiting's torture. The waiting Especially is torture. But I'll tell you what, if for you that matters, and if you are waiting for the Audible or waiting for your library, it's okay. Because whatever we do with our book club, just wait. It'll be saved. So just don't join us live. Watch it afterwards. You can still participate. And we will, in the meantime, we would give you some other options to read. And I think that also when we choose our options, we're always going to try to pick something also that is as, you know, one of the options or one of the honorable mentions, something that's older, something that is in your library now that yeah. you can go ahead and read now. So, and in fact, wish you were here. I looked just um, last night, our local library, we have 10 copies and 10 copies are available. I know. I thought, oh no. That's what I thought. Is that because nobody liked it? But I don't think that's it. I think it's because everybody has already read it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was actually from 2021. Um, it's kind yeah. of a pandemic story. But. I think Audible is also really nice if you're a um, series kind of a reader if you like the and I like series I like following characters sometimes I'll read the last book just because I want to see the characters go but I'm kind of sick of reading it you know I or whatever hate series <laughs> see I like series I hate them I know I want... hate series on TV don't get me started about three for, seasons I have time for, for the that. same reason I don't have time for that I don't want that much of a commitment yes I don't mind I want to know, and then although, then move on. <laughs> although I have to say, I often, you know, if it's a five star book for me, I will find me 
thinking, I wonder, you know, what happened to them now? I wonder where they are now, you know? I, I oftentimes wish that the author would write a sequel, and every once in a while I'll type in, or, I like the epilogue sometimes, where yeah, they, the kinda, epilogue, they yeah. kind of like, oh, and happily ever after, and yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, yeah. and so one of the, so there's a couple of questions, but one of the questions that we'll have, spoiler alert, in the newsletter for you is, how do you choose a book? How yeah. do you choose a book and what makes you decide that you're going to read it? Because, you know, for me, it is, it is, you know, reading the cover or recognizing, recognizing the author. Yep. I have authors that I like. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is if it's been recommended to me. Um, and uh, there's three different book talk people that I follow, two pretty religiously, and then there's a third one that I like. And I like to listen to them because I think that they kind of helped me a little bit. So anyway, we'll see how this goes. I really am excited about it. But what I have in the meantime is that I find that a couple of the authors that I really, really like, I love Alice Feeney. Um, there's a couple that I really like. And um, Kristen Hanna, we've talked about Kristen Hanna yeah. a lot. Do you know that Kristen Hanna is, uh, lives on Bainbridge Island? She's no a, way! She's a Washingtonian. Ah. I keep thinking if I say, hey, you ever want to come over here, hang out with us? She's a very busy woman. But I did, I did, um, join a um, a, uh, a podcast that she was on and she talked about this book. Oh, cool. So, so many people, so many of you guys said, why didn't you pick this one? Why didn't you pick this one? Because uh, same thing. You can't get this you book. You can't get it. You can't get this book. I went ahead and bought it in hardcover because I knew it, what it's about is it's about the Vietnam nurses. And and I also know that it's a very, very hard read because it's very graphic. Mm -hmm. And she talked about that in the podcast. I think you can find the podcast. Um, if you want information, maybe I'll try to find that. The other thing about Audible is you can listen to podcasts and other things oh, like that yeah. for free. So some of those, my guess is her podcast is on Audible. Yeah. I'm sure that it is. Yeah. Um, and she said that she intentionally made it as visceral and graphic as she could in terms of the injuries so that we could really feel what those nurses went through sure. and what and they that's were just doing. Good writing. And it is good yeah. writing. I love I she is an amazing author between this and Four Winds and um The Great Alone and Nightingale. Ugh, she is just she is an amazing person. I feel like I would faint if I met her in person. <laughs> I just, I, I, that brain, I don't know how she does that. She's just a uh, historical fiction and she, some fiction, but um, just an incredible, incredible author. So people have asked, what about the woman? Okay, yeah, try to get it. Try to get it. Buy it or <laughs> wait, because it is on everybody's lips right now. And I think it's because you ask people um, their top read for 2023, I will bet... 60% of voracious readers, people who read a lot, 60%, I'll bet you anything, will say um, uh, The Great Alone. Mm -hmm. not, not The Great Alone. Not the Nightingale. Great Alone. Nightingale. 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 Amazing, amazing, amazing book. So anyway. All right. So, but what I was going to say is that many of the authors that I really, really like are from the UK. Yes, me too. Okay. I think we talked about so, that last week too. Okay, so I'm going to give you a, uh, and if you don't read um, Alice Feeney or oh, who are some of the others, I don't know, I can't think of anybody else at the moment, but um, there's one I'm reading right now. What am I reading right now? I'm reading, oh, it's really, really good, and it's right near the end of it. Um, it's called uh, Wrong Place, Wrong Time. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I have that one on my two, my wait list. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> That one too, that would be a really good book club book because there are so many, nothing controversial, first of all, which is really nice, but also um, so many, what would you do for love? You know, mm. would you give up, would you give up everything um, for love? And um, just a, a, an amazing, it's a time traveler weird book, but interesting really 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 interesting and and she keeps doing things like i would not do that i would not oh no why are you doing that so i can't wait to see how it ends but um anyway um yeah what did i say it was wrong place wrong time very very good but again an english author so it's all of these words so i did just a little vocabulary test for Ooh, you oh uh oh i'm not good in english let alone <laughs> you may know what some of these are do you know, uh, this one is an easy one. Do you know what a trainer, when somebody's talking about their trainers? 
Um, shoes. Isn't it tennis shoes? Tennis shoes. I need tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what hoovering? If somebody's hoovering? Yes. What is hoovering? Do you know? You don't know what hoovering you is? It. You can do it. You got this. <laughs> is it like how we are hovering? No. We're hoovering. Oh, vacuum. Hoover. They're vacuuming. Okay. I call. I call Lizzie my Hoover. She's bad yes. at it. Hoovering. I is got vacuuming. it. Okay. Vacuuming. Um. Do you know what chuffed? If you're chuffed. Yes. Tracy, Tracy, my question. Tracy has UK authors. <laughs> Chuffed. No, Chuffed. I don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> that you're um, upset. Yes, you're Ruffy, miffed. 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 Yeah, you're mad. Prickly. What about a takeaway? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What is a if you're gonna go? What is a takeaway? Um, uh, the same way we keep it. Is it our same way we think about takeaway? Mm -hmm. Is just that little bit of information. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna no. take away. Take away. No. From, no. no. Take out what if food. I plural it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Takeaways? Take takeaways out is takeaways. Food? Is take food. Oh, takeaways. No, I didn't know that one. I'm going to go for some takeaways. No. Yeah. It's takeout food. Where are we going? Food? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Right? Takeaways. And then um, barrister. That's an easy one. A barrister? I don't know what a barrister is. No. Do I? You do. You, you do. do. A shelf? A bookcase? No, <laughs> no, but they have them. There are barrister bookcases because they study. They hold law books. Law books? A, a lawyer is a barrister. Oh, mm -hmm. that's close. Ish. Yeah, you're close-ish. I was in the air. I was in the room. And then finally, there's so many more that I could add to this, so but uh, we might do a, 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 a second one of these. This was kind of fun. Uh, this was just this morning. All of these are in the book that I'm reading, um, awesome. listening to. Uh, fish pie. No. It is fish pie. Yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, <laughs> not I on my takeaway list. I know it. There's a birthday. It's like, oh, we're gonna have our fish, fish pie. pie. No, no, thank you. No, take that. No. Take it out. Yeah, there's a there's a a place on um um I, I don't know where the, it's a it's a I think it's a Facebook thing. I don't know what it is, but it comes up on my for you page every once in a while, and it's it's British foods or British kids eating American foods and then it's American kids eating British foods and it's funny because the Britons are going they ate a Krispy Kreme it's like oh, oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry right now and it's like oh the best thing and then they ate something else I think uh, our grilled cheese is like oh this seems so easy to make oh this is so good and then the American kids are eating um, beans on toast <laughs> A breakfast food. Yeah. They're going, yeah, what why would this? you eat that? What? Yeah. Where'd you put one at? And then they're like, uh, no. And then I don't remember what the other thing was that they ate. Yeah, um, I watched the one where they were eating banned foods. Like Twinkies. Oh, yeah. Uh, red vines are banned yeah, foods? Yeah, I think that we eat um, a lot of banned foods. Well, I mean. I mean, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. We're flabbergasted. It anyway. for how long? I know. Yeah, that's why it's banned, bro. <laughs> don't eat it! Don't eat it! <laughs> totally. I know we do have good candy and we do have good banned things yeah. and not healthy not here good. but anyway kind of fun <laughs> that's why I really am excited about doing some events you know whether it's temperature quilt or book club with some of our other um yeah. uh, international friends I'm super excited about that so um and a lot of them have been emailing and you know and we've been chatting so we're excited about that um okay and then the other thing that i wanted to just um everybody's been asking about it and i thought i would just do a really nice update is on harper oh yes so remember harper is our uh of course you know um i always worry about people who have just ventured in for the first time right. and it's like mm -hmm. you know who even are you um, but so Harper's, of course, our little girl that we were sending Christmas wishes to and birthday mm -hmm. wishes to. And she was um, in the hospital from October 9th because of a virus that attacked her heart and mm -hmm. was not able to leave the hospital until she got a new heart. And last Thursday, she got her heart transplant. Super uh, we did do a really quick little YouTube live thing just to let everybody know. And then we also put it on Facebook and kind of not sure, you know, who would know how. But um, anyway, and we have lots of lots of updates. Um, so uh, they kept her on the and if you follow on Facebook, Harper Strong, mm -hmm. uh, you can follow her and have um, I'll share her Facebook time. page in the description. So if you didn't get it last week, you yeah. can see it again. 
Yeah. So um, they uh, kept her on the ventilator until, I have to think about this for a minute, what's today, Wednesday, until Sunday. And so um, uh, mostly just to kind of manage that pain just a oh, little bit sure. and make sure everything was closed and make sure they didn't have to put her back to sleep or whatever. But um, she did get her NG tube out on Sunday. The first thing she wanted was Starbucks. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> was on not happy when they handed her some. She's wait, that's not what I asked that's for. Not it. And um, but she's doing pretty good. Uh, she's uh, was advanced to a clear liquid diet Sunday night and okay. doing better. Um, they're going to have her up in a chair today. Um, uh, uh, not a lot of pain. Good for her. Not good. a lot of pain. They're doing okay with that. Uh, her liver enzymes, some of you guys might have seen that, that her liver enzymes went up, and they put out that call to prayer, and mm -hmm. uh, everything is all stabilized with that. So um, heart is beating great. Um, not even any... Um, every once in a while, you'll see some funny little um, patterns. You know, there's little arrhythmias that will kind of happen, and that did happen for about the first 24 to 48 hours, but those have all evened out. So she's got a normal sinus rhythm, no arrhythmias at all. She's got um, good uh, liver enzymes, appetite, no pain. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Miracles happen. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But here's the other amazing. thing is that, so we have sent... Um, uh, Donna is waiting for her second COVID test to come back negative before Donna can go in. Donna has not seen her and has not taken her quilt from you guys oh, sure. in yet. So if you've noticed the pictures of the quilt that's on her, it is not yours, but soon. So as soon as Donna, uh, because of course there can't be any germs right, um, of any sort in there. And so um, Donna will get in there and then she'll um, send a picture and we'll show you. But she has her first quilt. We have three more um, on the way. And then, um, but everybody, I mean, so many of you guys have asked about the donor family because, of course, as thrilled as we are yeah. for Harper and her um, second chance, um, we all understand where that heart came from. Um, and um, it's, it's unfortunate, you know, that much heartbreak for that much joy. It's just right. such a opposite ends. And so um, people have been asking about that. And it's like, well, can we do something for that family too? Yes, we can. But here's the deal. Um, it is sealed information. What they do is for one year, it is fully sealed. So where the heart was, uh, they don't know where, where it went. Mm -hmm. So nobody knows anybody. So um, the donor heart doesn't know the recipient family. The recipient doesn't know the donor. It gives them just time to go through what you need to go through, to go through, you know, because, of course, it probably wasn't just the heart that was donated, probably. Sure. I mean, there's probably other things. And so they need to have a minute, you know, to themselves. And then in one year, they get first dibs. They get to say, I want to, I want to know. And if they want to know, then they contact, and then um, Harper's family has, and Harper has the right to say, yes, we do want to know, or no, don't tell them who we are. So that's how it works. Oh, okay. and, I didn't know that. Um, Harper has already said she absolutely wants to know. She wants, yeah. you know, to be able to hug them and have them, you know, mm -hmm. feel the heart. And... Yeah. Anyway, so we'll see how that goes. We'll keep you posted when we know, and you know we won't know for a year. And in the meantime, then it gives us a year so that um, Harper can get yeah. on with things and get out of that stinking hospital and get yeah. home. And um, anyway, so, so we'll keep exciting. you posted. So it's so sweet because as quilters always think, it's like, well, can we make a quilt for them? Yeah, but mm, not yet. We got we wait. So um, anyway, we will welcome them into our family when we're able to know who they are. So mm -hmm. anyway, and I think that that's about it. I think I had other, um, uh, some of the other stuff I think we'll, um, oh, there was one other very important thing. So we had told you on Sunday, sorry, we had told you, was it Sunday, that we um, were going to have a special guest oh, with us today. Yeah, exciting. You news. know, it's funny, you know who they guessed? Who they guessed? They guessed that it was, the, and I haven't looked at all of the guests because, again, my internet. Did is, they guess Eliza? Uh, no, they guessed the squirrel man. <laughs> we will have Ben when Ben and Lori come up for sure. We will have them here. Yes. <laughs> The squirrel, face with the, name. <laughs> the squirrel man. Yeah. Oh. He wears a coonskin hat. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's not, the, one. it's not the it's not the it's not him. 
But um, but our guest could not be here today, so we just have to tell you who it was going to be, and we can share some what exciting is, news. Some exciting news. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, some of you guys know we've kind of been doing a little bit of a remodel, and some of you guys know that we were wanting the Edward D. Jones spot, and um, and some of you already know that they are now moving out and will be out as of March 31st. We are absorbing that spot, moving into that spot. Super exciting. And so we will have our local classroom again, so some of you guys can join us via zoom and youtube and participate in a class with us but local people they kind of miss coming in yeah. and out and and we do too because our classroom which what used to be our classroom it's is now tracy's. our shipping room <laughs> and we're not booting tracy out i mean we're not so um so anyway so uh so we'll have a classroom again uh we'll have a kidding room uh uh, we have a couple other things that we're planning for that, and uh, we'll announce that and give you guys a tour when that happens, which probably by about mid-April that'll happen. Yeah. But April 1st, the front section of the building, the, so, like, there's directly a front a, door. Directly across from like, McDonald's. And McDonald's. you know there's really pretty glass doors right there. Yeah. Right there. We have one separate section that um, we have a new business coming in, um, and it is going to be, what do they call themselves? Um, Bright Eyes. Bright Eyes Quilting. Bright so, Quilting. Does that ring a uh, bell, anybody? Does it ring a bell? Anybody know who that mm-hmm. is? Mm-hmm. So, um, Brittany, and yeah. if you guys have been watching us for a long time, you know, you know. who Brittany is. Yeah. So, Brittany is my daughter-in-law, um, uh, Jordan's wife. Uh, mm-hmm. Jordan is Brianna's older brother. And um, they have three of my grandchildren. Eliza is three one of them. Mine. Three of mine. My grandchildren. Of my grandchildren. Spoken like a true nana. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, she worked for us for about a year. Yeah. And um, she was our videographer, and she did a lot of stuff for us. And we were super sad when she took, uh, decided actually for a while to stay home and then took a different job that was kind of from mm-hmm. home. A lot of it is the same reason that we have Maisie here. Daycare it's is too expensive. expensive. At yeah. $3,000 a month for daycare, it doesn't pay for you to work. Right. Um, and so so she did different things, but she never stopped quilting. She has two long arm machines, and so she does custom quilting. People will mail mm-hmm. their quilts here. You can mm-hmm. do that. Um, a lot of people still do mail their quilts here to Brittany, and you can mail them right directly to us. Just put Brittany Motzkus on there. Or Brittany Rang. Care of, oh, yeah, Brittany Rang. That's right. <laughs> You're still Brianna Rain. <laughs> in your phone. And in my phone. Yeah. In my phone, I have everybody different. Everybody is Even in our town, people get us backwards. Because I am Brianna Motzkus. She was Brittany Motzkus, and now she's Rang, and I'm... It's, yeah. Now Motzkus. Our town totally gets us yeah. all mixed up. Yeah. That's why I have that pink hair. No. Pink hair. <laughs> the pink haired one. The pink one! Yes. Yes. Wait, wait. Who are you married to? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's that's exactly right. the question. That's exactly who, who right. And which one are you? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, so she is a professional long arm quilter. She does a really, really nice job at it. But here is the other really, really exciting thing. Because she has two machines, she's going to rent out her long arm. Super stinking cool. So fantastic. So what you can do, we did that for years and years. When we very first opened our store in 1999, we had a gamel in here and that was the reason that we did it. We had the gamel that was renting, that we were renting out. We had backing fabric and we had Mm -hmm. um, batting and about 400 bolts of cotton fabric, and that was it. The whole reason for the store was to rent out our (laughs) machine. Mom wanted the gamble. I believe (laughs) that no one did it before we did. I firmly believe that we were the first quilt shop that said, why don't you just come bring your quilt and quilt it on our machine. We were Mm -hmm. so busy doing that that we had two machines for a while, and they were busy every day, both machines, six days a week. Um, Then, of course, what happened is people loved doing it so much that they bought their own machines, and then we sold machines for a while, and anyway, we've come full circle, and now Brittany's going to do that. And I think it's just a really nice thing because a lot of people... They just want to do it themselves. And not just for economic reasons, but also just fun to just to go ahead and say, I finished this whole thing myself. It's substantially less financially and also just a whole lot of fun to do. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. she's going to do that. So that's kind of a fun thing because those of you guys that are coming for quilt retreat, we can get your appointments in to be able to do that. Um, If you're coming early or staying late, get your appointments in to be able to do that. And Mm -hmm. um, she's also going to do classes. So um, for 
for those of you guys that have your own machine and you just have questions about movement and I mean I have one on you can find on YouTube and we talk about I think it's, it's like a six maybe six class series we talk about yeah it. it's a series of all of the movements and battings and mm -hmm. things tension and thread choices and all of that kind of stuff but she'll do that in person. She'll do that same class uh, that yep. you can do. So really, really it's a nice exciting. addition. Um, so excited about having her back. And um, so we're really excited. It will be a totally separate business, but, mm -hmm. you know, we the same exciting. People. Same people. Yeah. Super, super, we're the super same fun. same customers. So yeah. it'll be super fun. Yeah. So, so I will look... Uh, when I have the internet and see who guessed it, Ooh. if anyone did, if anyone did, and if you guessed Eliza, that is not correct. <laughs> close. Close. You're close. close. And then next Fabric Chat, I will have more information for email address, all that stuff, how she's going to do anything. At the moment, we just wanted to let you know. Let you know. That that is happening. Um, she um, doesn't quite have the email ready that she wants to be bombarded with yet, so we're going to hold those. Hold those at the moment. Yeah, hold on. If you feel like you have to get it out because you're not going to remember, send it to info at. Um, we will print it off and we'll give Brittany a folder. But um, we will get all the information next week. I'll have everything for you. And they are planning on starting to move in on April 1st. Yeah, so your so, appointment could be as soon as April 15th or whatever. So, yeah. yeah, those of you that are coming to a quilting retreat and want to quilt your own quilt or whatever, book it while you're here. Get it. Super exciting. Super get awesome. It. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we've yacked for forever, even though it's only been about a couple of things, but... <laughs> um, Typical. Step behind us. Um, this is... Um, I couldn't remember. What is this line? This is so cute. This is Willow. Willow. From Moda. So this is a um, it's slice and dice. Is that what it is? Slice and um, dice. Pattern of mine. It takes a ten... In, uh, layer cake. squares. Layer cakes. Um, and then a yard and a half of the accent. This is also going to be binding. So super fun, super easy. Really cute. And it makes a 58 by 78 inch quilt. It's gonna have one more border around it. So super simple, but you can always, oh sorry, add more, make bigger borders. Do whatever. You can do the yeah. same thing on a five inch squares. squares. Mm -hmm. but yeah, this oh, is, you could. You could too. Yeah. So this is Willow. 10 inch squares. So you can do it out cute. of half yard cuts, pre cuts, fat quarters. Whatever. Tanner's words. We were talking about that the other day. We had a fabric appointment yesterday meeting with Holly. Mm -hmm. And um, and a little side note for just a mm -hmm. second. So Maisie sat here with us. And Holly is this beautiful woman. She has just this just really pretty yeah. skin. Mm -hmm. She's very, very, um, very pale. And she has almost white, white hair. hair. Yeah. And so... And I've never seen Maisie no, act that like way with someone. Mesmerized. Mesmerized. And, and just, shy. Yeah. And she's hiding. And it's like, oh, it's like she thinks she's like a princess. Yeah, and or she finally over and giving her hugs. Yeah. Like, and she was fast hiding her even. face. Yeah. And she was. It was adorable. It was really <laughs> adorable. She thought Holly was very special. Yeah. Right? And she is. Holly is super, super special, super sweet. And Holly was liking the, yeah. <laughs> the attention but it was fun but anyway um but we were talking about fabric and talking about pre-cuts yeah. and it's funny because my i would say my favorite pre-cut is a 10 inch square yeah I like i'm this. if i had yeah. to choose pre-cuts to purchase it'd be 10 inch squares or fat quarters yeah. i think for five inch squares what are you gonna do with one and yeah, if I decide enough. I want five inch squares, I can chop it out of here. And, and even have four. a nice chunky rectangle. Oh, sorry, that was here. Chunky rectangle left behind if I only needed two. Yeah. Um, and strips, I don't mind strips, but I feel like there's less option to make with strips unless I do a whole lot of piecing, pressing mm -hmm. shenanigans, which I don't mind, but sometimes I need just something lickety split. Yeah. You know, I can do this in a day. Yeah. Cut, slice, press, sew together, boom, ready to go to Brittany's. You know? Yeah. It's just one of those things. So, yeah. yeah, it's funny, too. Yeah. And that's the one thing we find. We have more 10-inch squares left over. Yeah. It's, I, I think know. that in the store, the jelly rolls, the two-and-a-half-inch strips are more popular than yeah. the 10-inch squares. And I do have to say, I do occasionally buy 5-inch squares because it's more like a sample, you know, mm -hmm. a sample size. It's enough to do like a baby quilt, but, you know... My baby clothes get big. <laughs> I, I think, too, it has to do with, you know, your favorite patterns. Yes, because that's true. It's funny Absolutely. that you are either somebody who, oh, this looks like a fun pattern I want to try. This looks like a fun pattern I want to try. This looks like a fun pattern. Or I tend to be somebody that I might have, like, 
I mean, I'll try all those patterns, but I have five or six that are my go-to. Oh, yeah. I have to make a quick quilt. That's the one I'm going to make. A quick quilt. That's the one I'm going to make. Absolutely. And so, yep. you know, that's, it depends on how you shop, but that's true. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Anything okay. else? What else we forget to mention? Uh, Anything else? Tra I we think were going to ask Tracy. Tracy's gone. If not, uh, we will see you at five o'clock tonight. Mm -hmm. And I probably Share more. be chatty. <coughs> five o'clock tonight. Sorry about that. Probably. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Bye. Bye guys. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.